you've come across an image that contains important textual content. You need this text for further use, but you just don't know how to easily extract it from the picture. The obvious option is to type the text in your favorite web editing software, like Microsoft Word or Notepad. But this process is a waste of time, and as we all know, time is money. Fortunately, in some Microsoft Office apps, there is a new technology called optical character recognition that can allow you to copy text from images or scan documents. These Office apps are Microsoft OneNote and Microsoft Word. Using OneNote, you can just right click on the picture and copy the text it contains. It's that simple. If you also want to use Microsoft Word, it is simple as well. My name is Abarka Abdullah. In today's video, I will teach you how to copy text from images using OneNote and Microsoft Word. I will begin with the OneNote method. Then after, I will show you how to use Word for this same task. I recommend that you watch every part of this video to understand the concept better. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. To copy text from an image using the OneNote Office app, make sure your image is ready. I mean to say that you should know where your image is located. I am going to use this image right here on my desktop. It is a book I just captured with my phone. After you get your image ready, open OneNote. To open this app on Windows, simply come and click on the Start button here and start typing the application name, OneNote. You will see the OneNote app in the search results. Click on it to open. Once you open the app, it will look something like this. If you are opening this app for the first time on your PC, you may be asked to sign in with your Microsoft account. And when you are done and your app is ready for use, create a new notebook. To create a notebook in OneNote, click on this file here and come to New. In this name box, type the name of your notebook. You can type anything you like. And after specifying the name, click on this Create Notebook button. Now after creating the notebook, you will be given a new blank page to work with. If you want, you can come here and add a new page by clicking on this Add Page button. It's now time to insert the picture. Click anywhere in this large space. You'll see that the insertion pointer will start to blink at where you clicked. To insert the picture, come to the Insert tab here. In the Images group, click on Pictures. The insert picture window will appear. Go to where your image is and select it. My image is on the desktop, so I will select it and click insert. And that's it. The image is inserted successfully. This is now the fun part. To copy text on this image, simply right click on it. You will see this shortcut menu. On this menu, come and click on this option, copy text from picture. It may look like nothing happened, but that's not true, because all the text on the picture has successfully been copied. To see that, come over here and create a new page. Then click anywhere in the body and press Ctrl V to paste the text you just copied. As you can see, all the text on the image has been copied and you can also paste it in Microsoft Word. Just open a new Word document and press Ctrl V to paste the text. Okay, this is how you may use OneNote to copy text from images. Now, let's look at another option with Microsoft Word. This option is also very simple. First, get your picture ready. Mine is already on the desktop. Now, open Microsoft Word. After opening Word, insert the picture. To insert the picture in Word, just come to the Insert tab here 
In the illustration group, select pictures, then this device. The insert picture dialog box will appear. Go to the location of your picture, select it and then insert. Once your picture is inserted, you will want to edit the picture so that it looks neat. This step is not compulsory. However, it is recommended, especially if your image is not clear. This is just to make sure that the exact words are copied from the image. If you believe that your picture is clear enough, you can skip this step. But if you have a dark picture, use these editing tips I am going to show you. The first edit you need to make is to crop out all unimportant edges of the picture. Especially if it contains sharp edges or if the edges are not part of the paper. To crop a picture in weight, first click to select the picture. The picture tool tab will appear on the ribbon. Come to this tab. In the size group here, click the crop icon. Now, using these cropping tools on the four sizes of the picture, cut out any part that is not part of the paper. Even though my picture doesn't have such parts, I will still crop out the sharp edges here. After you are done cropping the picture, press enter on your keyboard to apply the changes. The second edit to apply on your picture is brightness. That's if the picture is dark. My picture here is not all dark and blurry. So if I want, I can leave the brightness option. But to show you how it is done, I will still add some little bit of brightness to it. To increase the brightness of a picture, click on it and the picture tools tab will appear. Come to this tab and select corrections in the adjust group. Now play with the brightness levels. Select the brightness level that will brighten the background of the picture. Let me see. Okay, I think this one is okay. Please don't adjust the brightness to a level that will make the text on the picture invisible. After adjusting the brightness, you must still be able to see the text. Just do your best and leave the rest. Don't overdo it. After adjusting the brightness, stretch the picture to fit the page. To stretch the picture without any problem, use the wrap text to bring the picture in front of text. Just right click on the picture. Then come to wrap text and select in front of text. This way, you will be able to stretch the picture without any problem. Now click and drag the edges to spread the picture over the entire page. If enlarging the picture causes the picture to overblare, just stop. The most important thing here is to be able to read the text on the picture after the editing. Now this is how my picture looks like after the edit. Now that we are done editing the picture, the next step is to save the document as a PDF. To do so, press Ctrl S on your keyboard and save as PDF. Alternatively, come and click on the file here. Then go to Export and click Create PDF. Now select the destination folder. I will save my on desktop. Now that we save the document as a PDF, the next step is to open the PDF again in Microsoft Word. If you want to open the PDF document inside Microsoft Word, just press Ctrl O on your keyboard to switch to the open dashboard. The other way is to come over here to this file tab, then click on it to switch to the back end. Now click open. Click here on the Browse folder to line the open window. 
locate the PDF from which you want to copy the text. My PDF is on the desktop, so I will quickly go to desktop and select the file. Then I will come and click open. Once I open the file, you will see this message box that says that Word will now convert your PDF to an editable document. Now click on this OK button to accept. As soon as you hit on the OK button, Word will begin to convert your file. The conversion process may take a while depending on the number of pages your document has. But since we are just converting a one-page document, it shouldn't take time. As you can see, it is done already. The scanned PDF is converted into a very clean editable Word document. And you can now edit and copy text the way you want. It even maintains the same formatting on the picture. That's incredible. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.